Hello friends, you might have got tired by seeing my face again and again, but we have to do it. Uh, this is our job. So welcome to the other video. Uh, today we will talk about Hyderabad FC, uh, analyze their team, what is their strength and weakness and how they will set up uh, for this upcoming season of Indian Super League. Hyderabad FC, who are also known as the Nijams, uh, inducted in Indian Super League 2019 to represent the land of Biryani. Uh, which is Hyderabad. Hyderabad is very traditional and historical city in just terms in terms of Indian football. They have a huge history in Indian football. Of course, in recent time, they did not have uh, that amount of representation at the national level, at the club level, especially. So, with Hyderabad FC, Fateh Hyderabad, we Indian football fans will hope that you know traditional city of Hyderabad will come back into the Indian football scenario. But things turned rather stale for Hyderabad FC last season as they finished bottom of the table and nearly missed the uh, mark of uh, least point in a season. But now, uh, I think last season they did not get much time to make a team or prepare for the season. And with COVID, again, the situation is not easy. But I think they will be better prepared this season as compared to the last season. In 18 games uh, last season, Phil Brown, uh, Hyderabad, Phil Brown's Hyderabad FC had just 10 points uh, with just two wins. And they were the bottom of the table. They plan for the next season, for this season, by announcing the arrival of Albert Roca. Uh, former Bangalore FC coach uh, who won the I League with Bangalore FC, and they thought everything is going according to plan. But something happened in Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona decided to hire a new coach, uh, Dutch coach Komen, and he decided to bring uh, Albert Roca as one of his coaching staff from India, which means that uh, Hyderabad again need to replan their thing, and they decided to bring another. Spanish coach to replace Albert Roca. Manuel Marquez Roca replaced Albert Roca as a head coach of Hyderabad FC. A similar style uh, coach, Spanish coach, another Spanish coach in, I in ISL who will most likely to play 4 to 3 1 setup. Um, so I think thinking behind that, that they made the squad according to Albert Roca demands, you know, all the foreigners, Indian players they signed till then. So they did not want to change the system. So they brought a familiar person who who can operate, who can you know uh, take team forward according to the same style, same philosophy. Um, his CV, I think, um, of course, spent most of the time in Spain, but he has been never part of a club for multiple years. He always was uh, small, small stints with different, different countries, different, different clubs. Hyderabad FC will will hope that this will be not the case in. Uh, this tenure for uh, Manuel uh, in India, and they will hope that he will get success with them. Uh, talking about their roster, let's let's see their roster first. Hyderabad FC have lots of players from Pune City uh, days. Some players they did not want it to be part of their setup, but they were eventually were asked to keep them. So they have rebooted their team. There are lots of new faces, lots of people have left. Somebody like Marcelino has left for Odisha FC. But they have brought in uh, new foreigners, some exciting Indian young players. Uh, if you just talk about Indian young players, I think they have one of the most exciting Indian players set up. Young players I'm talking about. Along along those young players, they have also uh, signed somebody like Subroto Paul, uh, Chinglin Sana, uh, somebody like Aaron Dina Santana who was playing for Odisha FC. And then you, they have also got somebody like foreigner like uh, Joel Zanazi. Uh, Louis Sastere. So they made sure that they get good foreigners, uh, experienced players like Subroto Paul, Halis and Nazari also uh, now part of uh, Hyderabad FC. So they are trying to make the balance between the young and experienced player. Uh, along the side, the players who left them, uh, Marcelino of course who went to uh, Odisha FC, Robin Singh has left, Marco Stenwick has left and there are many more who are left. Uh, but if you see the overall roster, uh, I personally feel, uh, and this might bite, bite me later, you know, but I personally f feel that uh, there is a lack of balance, uh, especially they don't have any traditional wingers, uh, if you ask me. In midfield also, they have lots of midfielders, quality midfielders, foreigners, Sovik, Chakravarti Indian, uh, somebody like Sahil Tabora, Muhammad Yasser, you know. Uh, they have, of course, two good Indian centre back, Adil Khan, who can play in midfield also. Uh, Chiglin Sana, uh, two good right back, uh, Nikhil Pujari, Ashish Rai, and they are another right back in the in the in the club. Sai Pawar and Nikhil Pujari against was the left back. So, but if you talk about wingers, I don't think they have a good enough wingers. Uh, traditional wingers, Joel Chanaz is a winger, but uh, 
seeing the manual setup in the past wherever his coach he usually used 4231 or 4141 formation so i think uh, he needs that number 10 i think joel will be the number 10 so before we move into the what kind of setup and who will be playing where let's talk about their top 3 foreigners to watch out for Marcelino left for Odisha FC so Hyderabad decided to bring in Santana who has scored over 100 goals in his career Santana was uh, was in fantastic form last season for Odisha FC if he did not got injured during that season i think Odisha FC would have got uh, would have maybe finished better in the table uh, they eventually brought ono to replace him mid season while he got injured now uh, hyderabad fc and santana will hope that this will be injury free season for him in last season for uh, odisha fc he played 14 games scored 9 goals uh, 3 assist and those 9 goals came with uh, just 16 shots on target uh, expected goals of 5.8 So Odisha FC did not create much chances for him. If they could have, I think that what Hyderabad need to do create more chances, which meant to more shots on target, which mean more goal for Santana, and then they will hope that he remains fit throughout the season. So he is my number one uh, foreigner to watch out for. Uh, number two in the list is uh, Joel Chenazi, Australian uh, secondary striker, even a winger. He is not a traditional. Uh, forward uh, he can play on left on right or as a number 10 also i think but he will play that supporting role to santana uh, he also was a part of perth glory last season who finished uh, top of the a league uh, and eventually finishing as a runner up in the playoffs so he was he was a main focal point of uh, that team uh, if you see perth glory setup they play th- back three in the most of the game so uh, um, joel was playing as a you know uh, part of two playmakers on right or sometime as a left not up front uh, so he is not a traditional center forward which uh, which are we can see by his numbers also but last season i think he provided uh, scored four goals uh, five scored five goals provided three assists in 23 games uh, for uh, perth glory in last season but overall from 2018 19 season he played 55 games uh, scored 10 goals uh provided eight assist uh, with the expected goals of uh, 12 and he also created 34 chances uh, and key passes of 45 also attempted 188 dribbles at 51% of uh, success as i said he is not traditional center forward so finishing is not natural to him if he sees expected goals is 12 goals and uh, actual goals are 10 so i think since this is seventh or eighth ninth video we are doing uh all the top 3 players which we have done for foreigners or indians i think this is highest expected goal well this is the first time we seen that expected goals are more than the actual goals so he's not a natural finisher uh, you have to say but then he is a very good player to play as a support striker support striker role you know who can support some like santana for it so he will be very important uh, for hyderabad fc for the upcoming season third player in the list is spanish midfielder uh, luis sastre uh, the, the kind of defensive midfielder you will need uh, to give freedom to somebody like joel sanazes santana or whoever play up front uh, typically comes from barcelona setup so he knows he how to pass very quickly sideways passes he will recycle position very quickly so his role overall as a defensive midfielder will be very important uh, he will be he, Hyderabad FC will hoping that he will add the stability in their midfield which were lacking last season they need somebody to be part of the uh, focal point of that midfield you know uh, they have good indian young midfielders but somebody like Luis Suarez who is experienced came from La Masia understand you know what is the role of the defensive midfielder and uh, what is important as a defensive midfielder sometimes you don't need to be fancy you need to recycle the ball very quickly so that's the mindset required as a defensive midfielder i don't need to think about glory always you know you have to just make it quickly and uh, do it very simply so he is my third player to watch out for as a foreigner now let's talk about top 3 indian players to watch out for talking about indian players i think the star player uh, adil khan is my number one player to watch out for wherever he will play in center defense if he plays as a defender or as even center defensive midfielder I think uh, seeing the squad in depth uh, I think he might play the left side of center back because they don't have a foreign uh, center back two foreign center back they only just have one foreign center back I think so Adil Khan will be playing as a uh, center back maybe Sana might play there and some some games he plays in midfield uh, India international scored goal for India already for India also he played in uh, as a center defender alongside Sandeep Singh uh, whenever Singh and both were the fit I 
Hyderabad FC fans will hope that uh, Adil is very experienced guy now in Indian football. He's playing for the nearly decade now. He started his career way back in way back. I think around 2010 he was 2012 he was part of India setup by the way. So that's tell us the what kind of experience he have. Of course he have injuries in between. Last season his season was also hit by injuries. So they will hope that uh, he will remain healthy and fine this season and provide the stability. in defense in midfield wherever coach decide to field him with all the signing i think one of the important signing which hyderabad fc made it sobroto paul if you see his number from first isl he he is one of the best performing goalkeeper in the super league till now uh, experience in in, in indian international played in asia cup 2011 we all remember his performance but there are some errors in him we have seen in past season but then he also is very um, r- regularly performing on a high level so even if he makes some errors he will not get you know worried by those errors he will make sure that he come back strongly and perform and hyderabad need hyderabad needed somebody with his experience i think he might uh, one of the option he might captain the team but he is one of the option to lead the team also so subroto paul experience in the back will be very uh, helpful for the uh, young young indian defenders especially somebody like uh, Ashish Rai, Nikhil Pujari, Sahil Pawan. So he needs somebody like Subrat Paul, Adil Khan to guide them. Uh, what to do next if there is a counter attack? You know which position need to take. So Subrat so Paul is very important player for them, I think, and his performance in goal will also decide that uh, where they will finish in the table. Third player to watch out for, uh, I could have picked uh, somebody like Liston Klaso or somebody like Rohit Dhano, but he's uncapped. So, but I have picked Nikhil Pujari. uh last season he played in various position for the hyderabad fc as a right back in, in as a winger also and i think he can play anywhere in the wings backs uh, in attack and defense so his uh, versatility to who can play in uh, both side defense and uh, attack also will provide that tactical flexibility for uh, uh, molina to uh, what uh, to rook to roka Uh, what he need to do if he need to change the game during the half time we need to change the formation then i think nikhil pujari's role uh, becomes very important he missed only 65 minutes uh, of the total action during the last season and he was very good as a uh, right back uh, whenever he got the chance as a right back and i think i personally feel that he has more into his game as a attacker than defender so it will be great if they can you know may play ashish as a right back and give him chance to play as a right winger or left winger in some situations so i have picked my team accordingly might uh, in might my, my team he plays as a right back but i think if this just based on because last season he played majority of the game as a right back but i think they can uh, allow him to join uh, play as a winger also or maybe play back three then right wing back i think will suit nikhil pujari more let's move toward uh, tactical side manuel marquez again just like gerard nas says very limited uh data which we can analyze so but whatever games i have seen whatever reports i have seen till now he like to use 4 to 3 1 like mostly most of the spanish coach do uh to double pivot system so i think he will try to implement same at hyderabad fc uh, but there is a bit uh, some uh, something which need to matlab uh, some there are some department which might worry him uh, lack of wingers i think first department so we might see him like listing class of playing as a right winger which he played last season also uh, but he's a natural forward so let's see how he balance out these things so i have subroto paul on goal adil khan as a left side center back uh, uh, one india what is his name as, a, as another center back who's a foreigner i have started nikhil pujari in this setup as a right back sail pawar as a uh, left back and you have somebody like uh, jao victor and luis sastre two foreign midfielders i think who will provide that stability in the midfield and halicharan nazri as a left finger and uh, listing classo as a uh, right finger uh, in, in as a number 10 i have joel chenaza he is a winger but i think he need, he as a forwarder i think he can play as a number 10 and create chances for some like santana who plays as a number 9 up front uh, talking about movements here uh, i think uh, listing classo will have to play the role of supporting striker uh, get into the box support uh, santana and in that case nikhil pujari will have a freedom and open spaces to operate on the right wing we can see anjol chenaza you know drifting wide coming deep and then also uh, supporting santana on the box halicharan nazare can play in and around on the left side box to, and he is a he has a very good cross in him alongside sail power so those two players from the left side can put those crosses for some like santana classo chanaze even nikhil pujari arriving late in the box and then you have adil khan on india 
and joy victor and sastre making those two two blocks uh, a different two blocks uh, so they have they will be total three blocks you can say one attack then one midfield one defense no two blocks set up here and i think this is how they might set up uh, there can be some personal change here uh, you might see sana playing you might see some like mohammad yasir playing uh, on a left wing uh, you also might see uh, somebody like sail tavora shavik chakravarti uh, rohit dhano in and around this setup but i have just uh, created the um, one more setup in the same uh, uh, same setup but a different lineup uh, in this case i have ashish rai sail power as a full back so that's uh, one change ashish rai come for nikhil pujari and then you have jaw victor luis astre same you have mohammad yasir as said is a left winger can play as a midfield number 10 so mohammad yasir has come up as a left winger and then you have chanazi and uh, santana and when uh, Mohammad Yasir is playing instead like Khalidul Nazir who is a direct player Mohammad Yasir can play uh, those one to one with uh, somebody like uh, Chanaze or Santana and can operate on the tight spaces unlike the uh, somebody like Halicharan Nazir and again same same setup uh, in this of course uh, uh, Liston Klaso will will be playing that secondary striker role and then you have you know kind of a one or two block again uh, with ashish rai and sail power providing the width but this is when they have position they are attacking i don't think they're going to attack this much where the full back will be at this high at this stage which is shown in the screen so this is one setup i then talking about another setup which i have created for them uh, so i have created total four setup this is another setup uh, which uh, just based on their players which they have signed not the something which i have seen the head coach playing in this case i have selected the formation of 4132 uh, no wingers my in, in my team uh, with sail power nikhil pujari as a full back adil khan one india as a center back then you have some like shobik chakravarti playing as a lone defensive midfielder up ahead in front three midfielders uh, sail tavora uh, luis sastre and jao victor and then you have uh, coming sandaze another forward uh, for center forward and uh, sintana in this uh, you can this is basically 4132 with shobik chakravarti sitting Uh, allowing somebody like Sail Tavora, Sastar, and Victor to join the attack, and you have Nikhil Pujari and Sail Pawar uh, providing uh, width on the wings. This setup, I think, they might use just because I have created a setup that based the players they have. I know coaches might have different preference, but because if you see, then they have a, a back, uh, nearly a back three of Adil Khan. Uh, one india and uh, shavik chakravarti and then you have sail power nikhil pujari providing the width and you have somebody like sail tavora jaw victor joining the attack along with sandaz and santana creativity will be lacking the but then you hoping that somebody like uh, sail tavora and jaw victor providing that creativity from the midfield and also filling those spaces of when there is no winger then yeah uh, your midfielder need to sometime operate on those flanks empty flanks so i think this just based on the player they sign and uh, considering that he played 4-1 4-1 in past i think he might play this setup uh, so this is one setup which uh, i have i'm recommending just based on the players they have and then of course just like alternate setup uh, a back 3 Uh, which is nowadays very common so i usually check uh, what kind of player they have is there possibility of back three in every team because we have seen atk getting uh, atk getting success last season and other team also trying it so they have they have the players i think sana singh uh, chinglan sana singh who uh, who they signed from fc goa will come as a third center back and in this i think if they play back three then you can give freedom to like nikhil pujari to attack and then you have uh, chao victor and luis sastre and midfield chanazi as a uh, number 10 again i have not selected somebody like uh, their foreign center back i have went with chanazi for his creativity and here is um, also my un- uh, uncapped player to watch out for rohit dhano uh, i think one of the unluckiest player till now in indian football senior but we'll speak about him a bit later when we move to the uncapped player to watch i have brought him instead of listing class so i'm playing him uh, because he can play as a uh, center forward uh, he has played whatever matches till now as a center forward so i think he and santana as my uh, two forwards and if you talk about the um, uh, movement in and around i think rohit dhano uh, he can drop deep can can provide the stability and then you have some like santana and chanaze operating in that 
uh, attacking and creating those trio and then you have three blocks in this now two unlike other formation they have two blocks you have three blocks one block of Uridhano, Chanazi and Santana one block of Sahil Pawan, Jao Victor, uh, Luis Sastre and Nikhil Pujari and then one block of uh, Sana Singh, one India and Adil Khan back three means your midfield can go and join the attack so this will be their tactical setup now let's talk about their uh, uncapped player to watch out for my uncapped player to watch out for is Rohit Dhano uh, could affect anybody but I think the potential this lad have uh, I'm not just saying because he's from Uttarakhand many might say it might say it he was supposed to play under 17 World Cup uh, got injured then he was supposed to play AFC under 16 championship AFF messed it up he was not uh, registered on time then the injuries then the another injury when he was away for the uh, Indian uh, exposure tour, he fell from some uh, swing or something. Uh, I think some trolley, uh, and then he got a back injury. A youngster with a high good potential got his uh, uh, overall career till now. I will say destroyed by injuries, mismanagement. Uh, he should never been called to the FIFA Under-17 World Cup setup. By the way, he was, he was 15 that time. You know, and because under 17 team did not have a good striker, uh, Nikolai Adam first, and then they decided to bring him, and he got injured during the build up, which means he he missed AFC Under 16 Championship qualifiers and AFC Under 16 Championship, which he was supposed to play. Because, because he was playing with the uh, uh, India Under 15 team that time, the SAF Under 15 Championship, because he was too good to that level, they decided to bring him one level ahead and to play in FIFA Under 17 World Cup. Then another more injuries, more mismanagement means he did not get uh, much chances for India youth teams in official games in the qualifiers. But eventually played for Indian Arrows, where he scored four goals, uh, impressed everybody with dribbling ability, finishing, eye for goal, and signed this uh, professional contract with the Hyderabad FC. I think uh, we have seen enough. There are enough evidence to tell us that uh, what kind of potential and talent this lad had. Uh, he just need to keep his ground on uh, feet, uh, work hard and perform according to his abilities. And if he get enough opportunities in Hyderabad, I think he will score goal. They have another good player, uh, Leston Klaso. Uh, he's already scored a couple of goals for them last season. So they have, they, I think uh, whoever in charge of uh, Hyderabad FC kind of playing football manager, they got a very good youngsters. Uh, but I think they got too many. Uh, they are all the players, Indian young players, they are, they are young. They are very good, but you need sometimes an experienced player also to mold. So they have signed something like Halichir Nazari, they have Sovik, they have Adil, they have Subhuto Paul. But I think uh, the lack of traditional winger will be will be a worried thing for, for them. So now let's talk about the strength and weakness before we talk about, I move to weakness, let's talk about strength. I think, uh, of course, these Indian young players, they are unpredictable sometimes. So that will, that is one of the strength for them because opponent does not know that what to accept from these, these players. And also, uh, uh, last few season they have a goal scoring issue and then now uh, because uh, if you see the last season they just uh, scored lowest uh, time in the ISL just scored 21 goals but then this season they have someone like Santana who can score goals uh, you have Joel Chenaze who can score goals then you have Liston, Rohit Dhano who can, who, can, who can chip in with the goal and uh, Indian players uh, especially the young Indian players their strength I think uh, the quality in the midfield Product Joe Victor or uh, the Spanish midfielder is very good. Santana, Fred, Chanaze is the another strength. But overall, I think weakness again, as I said, traditional wingers they don't have them. Halich and Nazir they will be dependent on him to provide the creativity from midfield. But Halich and Nazir is a good player, but he don't have that high amount of end product in him. Not many goals, not many assists. They will be hoping for Liston Klaso can operate on that, on those wings. Nikhil Pojari, wherever he play, will provide the creativity. So I think that's the one one major weakness for me. Another weakness for me is that uh, the head coach uh, who coming late uh, did not have might not have all the players he wanted according to his demand. So he had to work around with this. Of course, with the COVID now situation is more tougher. So, because but this is same for everybody, every team. Uh, so we can't say this is uh, uh, one of the one just for Hyderabad. So I think they will be hoping that uh, somehow they able to mold these Indian players alongside these experienced Indian players, young Indian players, experienced Indian players, and then get into formulas in the key position to create the spine and 
make sure the defense is tight and then score those goals from Santana or uh, Chanaze or somebody like uh, Liston Klaso or maybe somebody can chip in more goals from the midfield. We have to see that who will be that midfielder, maybe foreigner, maybe Indian. So th these are some strength and weakness according to me. I think it will be interesting that what kind of setup their coach uh, picks. I am personally looking for that. 4-2-3-1 or he will go to back 3 or he will use 4-1-3-2 or some move because uh, wingers, the lack of wingers, so that that might decide the what kind of formation they're going to pick. And uh, they might be a bit unpredictable for this season, but I think they might be uh, uh, struggling in and around the lower half of the table. Might surprise some team on their day, but with these, these amount of young players, you can't hope for that they will perform in each and every game. Uh, but it is very important for Indian football overall that these young players, Hyderabad is doing a great job by signing them, giving them chance. Because you don't want every club playing uh, players in mid-20s or um, early 30s Indian players. You want young players to play. So I, I personally hope all these young players perform well and they do well so that other team also started doing the same which they are doing. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have liked this video, you can hit the like button. If you have not subscribed till now, please subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.